All right, so let's look at assessments and grading them in Schoology. So I'm in my Sandbox Social Studies course, and as you can tell, I have an assessment here called Geography. There's two ways to get to it. I can either click here and go to the assessment, or I can go into my grade book, and you will see it here, and I can click and get to the assessment part here. Now notice up here, I have grading, and then I have two um, choices. I can either grade by question or by student. Um, so whichever you prefer, but um, if you do by question, then you can see all of the questions at one time and then evaluate as a whole, like who's missed what. So you could look at it that way. Um, so let's just look at them both. So by student, notice that my um, colleagues or students right now come up and they have a grade waiting for them like I've graded Abby's and it's completed and she made a hundred but the other three have not been graded so and you can see that it says needs grading so I would click here and this will give me the whole entire test now the ones that are automatically graded because they're not subjective notice they've already pulled in and they're green so they're showing that these were right but down here at the bottom where I put a subjective essay or um, question, tell me why you love North Carolina, that has to be graded by me. So after I read it, and if it's the correct answer and what I'm looking for, then I can come over to the box and give them the point that they need. However, you've set that up. So now you can see that it's being saved. Okay, so if I go over here to by question, it's going to pull up the only question that needs to be graded, which is the um, subjective one. And then it will give me all the students' responses in once. So I would look at each one and I can come over to the side and give it a grade where the pencil is. And then if I change my mind and after I look at it, maybe think, notice I can still edit Abby's or um, Chrissy's um, grade.